Hello, I am Anmol, you are watching Orissa Post Live and these are today's headlines. The much awaited Bhuvaneshwar Metro Rail project will not be shelved. Housing and Urban Development Minister Krishna Chandra Mahapatra said on Tuesday in Bhuvaneshwar. As the project was launched during the previous BJD regime, there were apprehensions whether the present dispensation will continue it. However, Mahapatra stated the BJP government will seek help from the centre to continue the project. The regional office of the IMD said on Tuesday in Bhuvaneshwar that most districts of Odisha will experience heavy rainfall from June 26 to June 28. This will be due to a cyclonic formation over the Bay of Bengal, IMD official said. The Met Office has issued heavy rainfall warning for the districts of Khurda, Nayagar, Baud, Kandhamal, Kalahandi, Ganjam, Raigada, Jharsugda and Sundargarh. BJD's Organizational Secretary Pranav Prakash Das clarified on Tuesday about the ongoing demolition at his government quarters at Unit 6 in Bhuvaneshwar. He said that the demolition was being carried out on his behest and not because of any illegal construction. In a notification issued late in the evening on Monday, the Odisha government appointed Devi Prasad Mishra, a senior official of the Housing and Urban Development, as the Deputy Secretary to Chief Minister Mohan Charan Maji. Two elderly women were trampled to death by elephants in Balasore and Kyunjhar districts respectively in the V hours of Tuesday. The deceased have been identified as Pintu Deori, a resident of Sridaipur village in Balasore district and Muni Kisan of Telkoi in Kyunjhar district. Housing and Urban Development Minister Krishna Chandra Mahapatra said Tuesday after a review meeting that to ease road congestions the state government may abolish red lights from traffic signals so that vehicles can move smoothly. Mahapatra also informed that alternative arrangements like overbridges and approach roads will be constructed for seamless movement of vehicles. The ruling BJP-led NDA maintained on Tuesday its streak of continuity in its third term by fielding previous Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla for the crucial parliamentary position again. But its bid for a consensus was thwarted by the opposition, which has forced an election by nominating Congress Kodi Kunil Suresh as its candidate. The India bloc decided to field Suresh after a proposal for the post of Deputy Speaker was turned down by the NDA. Telecom operators have showed interest in four spectrum bands 900 MHz, 1800 MHz, 2100 MHz and 2500 MHz. As the auction entered the fourth round Tuesday, sources said in New Delhi. Spectrum auction for over 10,500 MHz mobile services worth over Rs 96,238 crore started at 10 am an official statement said. The Delhi High Court stated Tuesday the trial court order granting bail to Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal in the money laundering case stemming from the alleged excite scam. A vacation bench of Justice Sudhir Kumar Jain said the trial court failed to appreciate the material placed before it by the ED and did not apply its mind while deciding the ARP leader's bail plea. Wikileaks founder Julian Assange, who has been fighting against the extradition to the US on espionage charges for over a decade, has been freed from prison and has flown out of the UK under a plea deal with the American authorities. The 52-year-old Australian national was lost at Belmarsh High Security Prison in London. The 52-year-old Australian national was lost at Belmarsh High Security Prison in London since 2019. Assange will return to Australia, UK media reports said, citing a letter from the US Justice Department. Skipper Rashid Khan led the way with four wickets as Afghanistan qualified for the maiden T20 World Cup semi-final with an eight-run win over Bangladesh in a rain-hit Super 8 match at Kingston. 
In the process, the Afghans also sent Australia packing. After Afghanistan scored 115 for 5, Bangladesh were given a target of 114 in 19 overs via the DLS method. However, Bangladesh were balled out for 105. Naveen ul Haq also took 4 wickets for Afghanistan. That's all for today's headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.